Hello everyone, Tom Robbins here with SharePoint Institute and welcome to my weekly video blog post. This week we'll be taking a look at using the Excel Web Access web part to display Excel graphics on a SharePoint page. So to do this we'll just start uh, with a new page. Uh, we'll just create, create a page and my goal here is to add some graphics from a sample uh, Excel spreadsheet that we used from the uh, Office Template Gallery. And this is just a page we're going to go call College Expenses just to really show you how this works. Uh, and I want to place a web part on the left and uh, or rather an Excel graphic on the left and an Excel graphic on the right. So let's just go ahead and switch the layout to two column layout uh, or maybe even three and I'll put a title across the top or something like that. And we'll just call this my College Expense reports and I don't know who would see this but you know this is just a demo world here that we're in so let's see make it look really nice all right so down here in this left hand uh, left hand zone I want to insert the web part that allows me to work with Excel services and that's the Excel web access web part so we'll place one graphic here and then over on the right we'll just do the same thing and place another Excel web access web part on the right. So I'll just pop out here quickly and show you what uh, what the spreadsheet looks like and um, just open it up it's saved in SharePoint at the, at the moment. So we've got a, 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 an Excel spreadsheet here with just some graphics graphics in it and some data to generate those graphics. Each of these graphics is a named item so this is the monthly income summary on the left and the monthly expense summary on the right and I simply want to display these graphics um, on my SharePoint page so I don't need to make any changes so back here in SharePoint I need to edit each of these web parts uh, I can quickly edit the web part by just clicking here uh, to open the tool pane first thing I want to do is browse out and find that uh, Excel spreadsheet and it's just called college budget so I'll just insert it here and then you need to put the name of the chart so that's the named item from inside of Excel that you want to display so that's monthly income summary was one of them and then I'm gonna leave all the defaults as they are so we can show you what the web part uh, defaults look like out of the box and um, for the second graphic over here on the right we'll actually modify some of the web part so notice you get um, the option to uh, you get the file tab option, open in Excel, data refresh options, uh, calculate the workbook. You even get uh, a drop down box to choose other named items that are in the spreadsheet so you can dynamically switch between displays. So over on the right, let's go ahead and add that second graphic. Same workbook here in my document library, college budget. Just going to insert that one as well. And that second chart was monthly expense summary and for this one I'm gonna make a change to a couple of the options so the first thing I want to do is get rid of the toolbar I don't want to see this toolbar across the top so I'll just switch the toolbar to none I also don't want to see the named item drop-down list and let's see for the title I'd like to give it a title and I'll just name it my monthly expense summary and then click OK just for you to see what it looks like now when we save the page we've got two really nice looking web parts here notice the one on the right I don't have the menu bar so I don't have the ability to uh, use the file tab to download and download a snapshot or print this image uh, I don't have the open in Excel link on the right as we do here on the left and on the right I don't have the ability to recalculate the workbook I also here on this right side web part don't have the ability to dynamically switch between the different graphics inside that particular Excel spreadsheet so you can see that you've got the option with the web part properties to make changes to each of the web parts okay so that's a, a quick blog post a video blog post today on just how to add Excel web parts to your page and we'll talk more about Excel services uh, next week. All right, everybody. Thanks. Till next time.